Well, for the new year here at ANC, we thought, how can we help all of us save money, prioritize, and organize? Mm -hmm. So today, Kara is tackling an issue that anyone who's done grocery shopping lately knows all too well. All right, I know it's not the sexiest thing to discuss, but we are going to get into it. Guess what it is? Inflation. Oh, Kara. <laughs> well, we're all currently experiencing it for sure. And in fact, I don't know if you know this, but overall inflation is seeing its most significant increase yes. since 1982, rising 6.8%, so nearly 7% since this time last year. So what does all that mean? We thought, how can we help? And one of the places that's hitting us most hard and hitting everyone is at the grocery store. Yes. So here are some shopping hacks to help reduce your panic at Publix. Okay. Wherever you buy your provisions. And can okay. I just add, sure. that's why it drives me nuts when the children don't eat finished things. Because I'm like, you guys, yeah. come on, don't be wasteful. I have learned that minimizing snacking and starving them helps, helps them eat more. <laughs> okay, good. All right, okay. I am so all you know. ears. Okay, so this first one is maximize your coupon sources. Okay, so normally really? coupons are found in newspapers, flyers at the front of the stores. That's where you see them most often. But don't forget about online resources. So you can download a few things. You can download coupons from websites such as Living on the Cheap, Smart Source, Red Plum, and Target. Huh. That cartwheel at Target, very helpful. You can also download Ibotto, which stores multiple coupons in one place. I also read about this stacking concept where you can use the like actual um, like a manufacturer's coupon plus yes. the store coupon to get extra discount. Okay? I, I gotta tell you, I haven't used a coupon in for I mean, well, like yeah, sure, and beyond, sure, sure. I'll bring that in, but at the grocery store, I don't. Right. But I gotta start. You gotta start. All right, number two, here's another thing you gotta start doing is keeping track of the sales cycles, okay? Hmm. Now, learn how to spot sale patterns and learn to wait so you can time your purchases and stock up when those discounts happen. This sounds harder than it actually is. Okay, so I thought maybe you know, make a note in your phone, set an alarm, and you'll start to see a pattern, especially if you're depending on the item or brand, like at a certain store too, that will help. You can expect it to go on sale every four to 10 weeks. Seasonal hmm. items are usually a good bet when trying to find great deals. You can also, like I just said, be loyal to one grocery chain, yes. and then you'll start to see that maybe their stores have specific sales at certain times. Yes. I, that's what I, I do. I have okay. you know, the card or you put in your phone sure, number. Sure, sure. Yes. All right, this one was very interesting because it was more of a mind game that we play with ourselves Ooh. at the grocery store. Skip the hand basket. Why? Because a study found that shoppers who use a basket tend to impulse buy. Is someone following me? Researchers yes. say the tension <laughs> and strain on your arm makes shoppers more likely to pick up rewards such as candy and soda to make up for the sacrifice of carrying that heavy shopping basket. That is so, funny. push a regular shopping cart down the aisle to help you stick to your list. This is what blew my mind. Um, and it also reminded me of another tip. Make a list before you go, because then you know you get in there. Don't yes. go hungry. Don't go after a few glasses of wine, no. you might reach for snacks. No, listen, I don't know. I, I, don't bring, help. I don't bring the kids anymore because I'll be like, stay with dad. Because it, literally, it will jack up yeah. the price by sure. 20%. Sure, sure, sure. Because they start adding things when you don't mm -hmm. see, and then I'm embarrassed to go, we, I didn't want, you know. Yeah, this next one is a good one. Find the clearance shelves or the table. Now, they aren't easy to find. They don't make them easy to find. But you have to find them because that's where all the goodies are. It's on purpose that you have to seek it out. These are a treasure trove and should be your first stop. Stockers regularly comb shelves for slightly damaged good, like a torn box. Hmm merchandise that is being rebranded ah. get a deal on it these managers special items are marked down as much as 50 percent huh. don't get a dented can a dented can is not something you want to plus cans are not that expensive anyway right but right a dented still. can is not worth it but you can get a steal and you can still use your coupons for the already discounted wow. merchandise did you know that added savings mm -hmm. fantastic yeah. i know all right this last one let's get into it really quickly this is interesting. Shop late in the day because this is when you'll find discounts on perishable items such as meat, produce, and bread. Make friends with the butcher. Okay. All, right? All you have to do yes. is ask for a discount at the day's end. And if they have excess inventory, they'd obviously rather sell it to you than toss it out. Yes. Here's I a, believe it. Um, I... I like to make friends, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well, today. at my local Publix, I, I feel like I know a lot of the cashiers, but now I got to get to know the butcher. Well, apparently. they say to um, make friends with the cashier, do because there are certain cashiers that will take time to scan your coupons. There you mm -hmm. go, Kara. This was so. Be annoyed.
So helpful, guys. This yeah. is what, what it's all about. That's it right. Is. Just some strategies. We just, we just want to try to help. To help you in this new year. We got we to work on this Organize, together. prioritize, and save some money, y'all.